Hi guys, this is Wirehead King, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to animate cameras in uh, Blender 2.6. So the reason why I'm doing this is because a couple of, well, yeah, a couple of days ago for when I upload this, I made a tutorial on how to render animations the proper way, and I got a few comments about the creation of the scene I used, and I said I wouldn't make a tutorial on creating these mountains, but I could do one on the camera animation. Um, so that's what I'm doing right now. And the way, well, the thing that makes camera animation is pretty simple. It's a path for, um, you know, the, well, the location of the camera and the focal point, which is, or, well, the focus of the camera, which is this empty. And that's basically just what the camera's looking at. So if I just open up the uh, starter, which is here. Um, yeah, you can see that this is basically just a mountain, well, a mountain range even. It's um, a low-res duplicate of um, the one I had in the example scene. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do first is choose where you want your camera to be, approximately. Just go into the 3D view, find a place like here, press Control alt number pad 0 and that will just snap the camera to where you want. You can then just uh, do a few little things, just fiddle around with it like that. Uh, just give it a bit of a rotation. Okay, so this is going to be the start point for the camera animation. So the next thing we're going to need to do is move it. Now, what some people do is they just basically add a ton of keyframes and have it moving all the way through the mountain. But that's not really the way to do it. What we do is we press Shift A, go to Curve, and choose path and what that does is it creates a path for our camera and if I just uh, move it up you can see it basically looks like a straight line at the moment but if we press tab to go into edit mode you can see that uh, it's comprised of these arrows with these sort of little points that you can use to bend the curve so yeah what we're going to want to do is rotate it by 90 degrees like that and make sure that these arrows are pointing in the direction you want the camera to go in because um, you know if you don't do it right you might end up with your camera just going backwards around the curve and that's very annoying so you have to set it all up again um, so yeah make sure that's happening and what I'm going to do is just in top view I'm just going to line the first point up with the beginning of uh, the animation just approximately and then I'm just going to uh, basically make a few points, that's best to put the end first there. So I want it to end here, and go through here, um, and another point there. Okay, so it's pretty simple, although of course because um, it's, it's like a smoothed out curve, it doesn't follow these points exactly. So if you want to go into a bit more detail, you can subdivide it, and that will make it um, snap to this line a bit more. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use these new points to just make a nice sort of smoothed out um, curve, basically. Okay, so that was done um, quite hastily. But um, yeah, that's the uh, general horizontal path I want it to take. I'm now just going to line it up again, make sure that the point at the end is lined up with the camera there. And uh, yeah. Now I'm just going to grab these points and make some weird roller coaster out of it. Just bring it out maybe over there a bit. Make sure that this uh, black line, because that's the actual path, make sure it just doesn't go through any of the mountains, or make sure it doesn't go through any objects, uh, depending on what scene you're doing. Because if that happens, then um, yeah, it will make things look a bit funny. Okay, so coming up to the end of this process, there we go. Just look at it from a few angles, make sure that it's all good. Uh, yes, looks a bit funny here though if I just uh, smooth these points out. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so uh, the next step is to select the camera and select the um, curve and then press Control P. Yeah, Control P. Uh, if you just uh, click on follow path, nothing happens, but if you press Alt A you can see your camera is now animating around the path. Okay, so if you go into camera view, you can see it's uh, going very fast around the path, like that. 
and you might not want that. And the way we slow this process down is if you just select the curve and then come over to this new um, option thing in the um, well in Blender just over here, uh, you can see we've got frames. And this basically means uh, well, if it's set to 100, which it is, it basically means after 100 frames the path animation will end. However, we have 250 frames and we want to use all of them. So we're just going to set this to 250. Now when you press Alt A, it's going a lot slower around um, the mountain. And yeah. Uh, but as you can see, it's still looking quite funny like here. It's like diagonal. So if you just come over here and press Z up, that will just um, make the camera stay upright. It will still rotate in some ways, but it won't rotate along the... Um, well, it won't... Uh, what I mean is, like, if we were to rotate the camera like that, it doesn't do that. Okay, I don't quite know how to put that into words. Um, but yeah, so we've got the movement done. However, you'll notice that, well, yeah, um, this is actually quite a good path. But let's say you don't want it focusing here, you want to focus it over in this sort of area and where this sort of gap in the mountain is. This is where the empty comes in. So just go to the beginning of the animation like that. Oh, make sure that you uh, press Control A on the camera and choose location and then do it again, choose rotation and scale because if you don't do that then things get a bit messy. We're not going to add an empty, bring this up and um, yeah we're going to just move it over in view of the camera so wherever you want it to be focused at the beginning. Uh, well, I want it to be focused here Sort of, uh, yeah, my mountains look funny from the top. Okay, so, yeah. Um, yeah, if I just have the empty just about here, uh, you can, well, yeah, let's press Control A and choose rota uh, rotation scale and location, because again, if you don't do that, it looks a bit messy. And now, if we uh, select the camera first, no, the empty first, and then hold Shift and right click on the camera. Press Shift Control C and then choose Damped Track. Uh, you should then see your camera is facing downwards towards the Earth. And things are a bit funny. So, if you, with the camera selected, if you go to this constraint thing over here, which is basically a picture of sort of interlocking chains, if you select minus Z or whichever one makes you end up looking, well, whichever one makes the camera start looking at the empty, and in this case it's minus Z, I think it is for that for everything, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, just select that. If you now press Alt A, your camera will always look at this empty. So it goes past, it stays looking, uh, does some funny twirls because that's what the empty is basically telling it to do. Okay, so if we just go back to the beginning, you can now animate where this goes using IPO or a path if you have to, but I don't really see why that would be necessary. So let's say from here we sort of want it to turn and start looking at the other place. We just press um, I with the empty selected, choose location, move a few frames and then bring it down to uh, the next place you want it to look at, which is just here. Oops, yeah, there. Oh, ooh, lower. Okay, somewhere around there. Press I again and then you can see it'll sort of move along and the camera will sort of follow it. And now when we go over here, uh, instead of having it looking downwards, right, let's actually just do this a bit. Yeah, choose location and then a few frames on when it starts getting a bit funny. We're just going to move it over to the final location like that. Press I, choose location. And now, if we play through our animation, we should have. Uh, it's quite choppy because I did this quite hastily, but you know, you get the idea. This is how you can create a nice uh, camera animation without spending ages just keyframing things and then you decide you don't like it and restart. You can just simply use a curve and an empty and then uh, really um, from there it's pretty procedural as in um, if you change the curve the camera will follow it again you don't have to do any ridiculous things with keyframes and all you have to do is move the empty around and uh, the camera will follow that as well. So there's really um, not much else to it than that. So, yeah, thanks for watching. 
I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learnt stuff from it. And if you like this, subscribe, and if you learnt anything from it, uh, subscribe also. Well, that makes sense. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. I think I'm repeating myself now like I always do. Anyway, as I say, thanks for watching, and goodbye.